Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please make sure to click that red just <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Simon Stimulo, also known as Cranky Cranky Rama 2000. You know, that's right, and that's on period. Please follow me on all social media platforms, Cranky underscore Angela. And if you're an existing subscriber, a regular doer, thank you so, so much for coming back. I truly appreciate your continuous support. So, without any further ado, let's get straight into today's video. Full store or quiet feeling at home, and everybody's just there in the dining room and they're just listening at you like a literally full store or quiet. But anyway, you know, we have to push content like we have to push content so ladies and gentlemen welcome to my first sit down video of the year and today we are doing a rest essential checklist you know so today i'm gonna be uh, telling you guys about the things that i think you need to bring to varsity and also uh the things that you get there and i'll be also like giving you guys some some tips you know and advice i think yeah so congratulations to each and every one of you i'm super proud of you i know it was not an easy journey but you know you made uh, the efforts of passing your Trick and you know I'm super proud of each and every one of you even though you didn't pass your matric I am still proud of you because not everybody get the chance to to make it to matric guys like you know not everybody make it to matric you know so I'm super proud of you just make sure that you know you go and rewrite the matric you can go and upgrade and you know just know that this is in the end of the world you still have like another chance to prove to yourself that you know what I can do this you know yeah just don't give up yourself just don't give up on yourself be very patient with yourself and just make your parents understand about the things that made you fail and you know what we'll never understand you know you guys were faced with so many challenges and you know you know it, it was not easy like it was not easy but you know i understand where you guys are coming from and you know all the best all the best hope you enjoyed today's video so guys, I have compiled or rather written a list of the things that I think uh, they are so important and you guys should bring to varsity and you know, yeah, so I'll keep uh, looking down. So yeah, don't be surprised as to why I'm looking down, you know, I'll be looking on this uh, notebook of mine, you know. So I'm going to start with the things that you will get there and in each and every race. Obviously guys, you're going to get a bed, you know, you're going to get a bed because where are you going to be sleeping guys if you don't have a bed? Like where will you sleep if you don't have a bed? So you're going to get a bed and those beds are very small guys, like they're very small, they're way too small. So please avoid having relationships and having situationships there, please, those beds are very small. If you want to have that kind of a fun, uh, I recommend that you guys book a B&B or whatever because child, those beds are very small, they can only accommodate one person, you understand? But I know you guys make things happen, you know, I know you guys make things happen If you want it, you'll make sure that you get it and you make the means to get whatever that you want But I wouldn't recommend that you guys uh, have relationships and sleepovers and whatever Those beds are so small <laughs> They are very small, you know But anyway guys, you're gonna get a bed you're gonna get a hot drop but you're gonna like you know pack your clothes so nicely and everything you're gonna get a, a grocery cupboard where you're gonna pack your grocery and some residents they do provide like lockers whereby like you have to lock your your your, your hot drop and your grocery cupboard but in the rest that i stayed in last year uh we didn't have like the, the lockers and everything you know but if you wanted to buy yourself like a locker you are more than welcome to buy it for yourself and just lock your your old drop if you feel like your things are not safe me for example if you have like a roommate or i don't know yeah but if you're staying alone in a single room there's no need to worry you know and guys they're gonna provide you guys with a fridge you know i don't know about off on campus guys because i have had stories from people who are staying on campus that they had to buy their own fridges and whatever i don't know anything about off camp about on campus sorry i still off campus you know so on campus they did provide us with a fridge but that fridge you shared with the whole entire floor you know Per, per floor like they provide one fridge you know they do provide like one fridge and you have to share it with some other students so if you are not comfortable in sharing your food with some other students you are more than welcome to buy yourself a bar fridge you know and some residents they do like have bar fridge whereby like you you, you you take them the bar fridge and you pay them like on a monthly basis you know yeah so your mother welcome to bring your own bar fridge if you're not staying far from 
from the school or the, the campus or whatever where you're going where you're going to be studying you know your mother will come to bring you bar fridge or when you get there you can buy it for yourself you know and they're going to be providing you guys with a machine washing machine and a dryer you know yeah so that you can wash your clothes and everything and they're gonna be providing you guys with a lamp you're gonna get a lamp when you get in your room obviously for studying yeah before in case if you are staying in a in a sharing room and your roommate wants to sleep and when you want to study on the other side you can switch off uh, the the main light and switch on the the study lamp which will like you have a bonus seller when i pay like you understand yeah so they're gonna provide you guys with a study lamp and rubbish bins you know yeah so here i think i've covered everything that you will get a rest and if there is any one of you who think i didn't mention everything that uh, they provide address you are more than welcome to just add on the list you know yeah and some things i won't mention them because i think they are obvious guys me for example uh your showers your kitchens i know those things are very obvious i'm not gonna be mentioning them over here and here are the things that you guys must pack to rest you know here are the things that you need to pack for rest you know yeah so first of all pack your your washing <laughs> your washing basket <laughs> I don't know how you guys are gonna be packing up your washing basket but i wouldn't recommend that you guys must pack your washing basket because that thing I, I it doesn't make sense you're gonna buy your washing basket when you get there guys please yeah just to avoid a lot of luggage and everything don't pack your your basket please your washing basket you're gonna buy it when you get there like it's like 22 rand or 30 rand you know you're gonna buy it when you get there the smaller one yeah please bring a kettle so that you can make coffee and everything and bring your iron and your heater and your fan you know and when it comes to the the heater i think it, this one is very important guys especially in winter season now you might not uh, get it because it's still hot and everything but in winter please make sure to get yourself a heater because in rest it's very cold guys like it's very very cold so you're gonna need it and make sure to bring uh some warm clothes guys bring some warm clothes uh you know there's no rest in rest like there is no rest you're gonna have assignments and you're gonna have you know submissions and everything whether it's cold or hot you have to submit my friend you have to submit you understand yeah so make sure to bring yourself a heater and a laptop guys if you don't have a laptop it's okay guys but when you receive your allowance i think you guys most of you guys will be receiving your allowances in i think march or february make sure to buy yourself a laptop you know so that you can type your assignments and write your your, your exams and everything you know yeah and your usb cable as well you know yeah so that you can save your work in case maybe your laptop get lost or start acting up or you know yeah the my laptop engine you know guys yeah and also bring yourself a calculator yeah a calculator guys please bring yourself a calculator don't ask me why <laughs> you know because i'm not i didn't bring a calculator because i was like you know i'm gonna do this course and it does not require me to have a calculator but i didn't know that there were modules you know i didn't know that there were modules remember i'm the first person in my family to go to varsity and you know i didn't know like all those things that the modules and everything you know so i think uh it's best for you guys to bring a calculator even though you don't know even though you you're doing like uh, i don't know a course that does not require you to have like a a calculator me for example teaching but it might require you to have a calculator you know just but just to be on the safe side please bring a calculator you know you'll never know it might not be in your first year but maybe in your second year or third year level or fourth year level you you will need a calculator like you will need a calculator make sure to bring your calculator and also bring your stationery your pens your your rulers your rubbers and everything you know and yeah the list still goes on and also bring a mop and a broom <laughs> even this one the the washing uh basket the mop and the broom guys you're gonna buy them when you get them there's no need for you to be carrying mops and whatever on like in the flight guys like how will people take you like when i'll be in a mop 99 good flights like me for example if you're gonna be staying maybe in and Port Elizabeth and you're from Pretoria and you're gonna use a flight like are you gonna be carrying mops and brooms and washing baskets in your your suitcase uh, guys please please you know yeah <laughs> I think there's some things that they're just obvious you know you're gonna need them but there's the it's not mandatory for you guys to just bring them like on the get go you understand you're gonna buy them when you get there you understand yeah and you're gonna need your pots please bring your pots uh, bring your culinary bring your plates your culinary i mean your spoons your knives your forks and whatever and please bring your plates two or three plates you know yeah some days you may have visitors or you know situationships things happen man yeah but bring two or three you know yeah and 
pillowcase and blankets guys yeah please bring those things because you're gonna get a bed when you get there and bring your toiletries you know yeah it's an obvious one bring your toiletries and an extension guys please bring an extension maybe if ufana nami and you wanna be coughing your phone in inside your blankets please bring um, an extension so that you can connect there and you know charge your phone and and be busy with your phone instead yes so bring an extension and bring your first aid kit if you have like a first aid kit you're more than welcome to bring it but um, most of the residents they do provide uh you know first aid kit and they do have like those people in each and every res who like you know assist you in case maybe you you you, you fall ill or you get you know injured or something like that you know yeah which is like medical related and also guys uh, i've already mentioned the usb also bring your medication maybe for example if you're on medication you have like asthma or whatever please don't forget your medication guys please don't forget your medication and when you get there drink your medication don't be ashamed to go to it's your medication you know you are doing it for yourself you understand yeah and guys bring please bring a nail clipper so that you can look neat and you know you understand yes child please bring your dish cloth and yeah guys i think i have covered everything that you guys need to bring and also guys don't bring your metric jackets i beg please don't bring your metric jackets i think all of all of us did our metric jack did our matrix and we have worn those things and you know leave them at home please we have our uniforms here like we do have our uniforms if you love our uh, uniforms to that extend you are more than welcome to visit the university shop to purchase one or two you know items you know just to look the part if you want if you love uniform yeah but please don't bring your your metric jackets please i beg no sure yeah and here is an uh, advice that i i think you need to hear guys like i think you need to hear you know yeah so i think that advice or tips i don't know how to call these things you know but i have written them down here yeah? so first of all guys attend your orientation attend your orientation don't be like me and not attend your orientation my friend you're gonna be abused every time you go to campus because you will not know if you are going or you are leaving hey man please don't be like me attend your orientation so that you know okay this is this is this is um building banbani and this is the office this is what this is what and you know you'll know everything this is uh the university clinic this is you know you'll know everything but if you don't attend a rotation my friend you're gonna struggle like you're gonna struggle unless if you have senior friends who will show you like what's okay you know this is how we operate and everything here is what the, you know yeah but yeah anyway guys attend your orientation and respect your your bodies guys you're gonna have bodies on your first year so please respect them and participate in those activities you know participate in each and every in every activity that uh they make you guys do you know if maybe they say you guys must run run you know for the sake of running run my friend run and it's so fun because out of that uh you know that um program you're gonna gain friends and you're gonna create friends i mean and you're gonna you know build a relationships with people you can also build a relationship with that with those bodies you know yeah because i think those bodies they will be doing your cause you know yeah they'll be doing your cause but on another level you understand yeah and yeah bring your oh sorry guys <laughs> yeah and attend those activities and attend your classes guys please attend your classes this is not high school there is no one who's going to be dragging you guys to say attend your classes yeah, it's what what time you know attend your classes draft your timetable and know which okay at this time i have this uh, class at this time i have this class you know and also participate in your classes if you think maybe for example you have an answer for for a question that has been asked by a lecturer you are more than welcome to you know raise your hand and you know and what do you call this and answer nobody's gonna love it you you know we are all learning you know and out of that answer that you have you you're gonna be saying we're gonna learn you know something you know it might be wrong it might be right but at the end of the day we as good now where you have tried you know i like somebody who's gonna be in class and they keep quiet and at the end of the day they haven't like had anything you know so when i find who's i mean you understand and if um 
yeah when i would okay at today's listen i wasn't um i didn't concentrate as you know i didn't pay as much attention as i used to you are more than welcome to you know email your lecturers and ask them okay i heard you were talking about this and this and this and this and that how do we do this and this you know you are more than welcome to do that you must email your lectures you must email you must ask you know whatsapp your friends and ask them okay what did you guys do and whatever and also guys submit your assignments in time please submit your assignments in time because i think if you, you submit your assignment late uh, there is a certain marks that is being deducted from your actual mark you know maybe for example if you 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 have like an assignment for 50 marks and they say like per day they will if you uh, you you submit like late maybe per day like if maybe the, the submission was on the 17 and when you, sub, you decide to submit on the 18 10 marks is going to be like deducted from your marks and you know and then, so attend your your classes and do your assignments and yeah if you don't understand anything ask your lectures you know ask your lectures you, you can email them and guys please don't forget your why reason don't forget why are you there in that particular campus or why are you there and rest you know don't forget your re your your why reason you know and never forget where you are coming from guys you know never forget where you're coming from i didn't say you guys might not have friends i didn't say you guys might not go groove but never forget where you're coming from because i think as people when we get there we get too comfortable and we forget where we're coming from at the end of the day when you come back home maybe more december we regret with you i did this i did this and i did that and when you receive your result you'd be so surprised because you you weren't studying you weren't studying you understand so please always forget like remember your your why reason you know yeah and what else balance guys the balance i've already said that one balance you know know the difference between uh you know padding and you know know what is important actually between you know padding and and school obviously school work has to be like your first priority and your padding and everything it's it's i, I don't know but you know it's not so important you know but you guys must go and groove like please that one <laughs> yeah you must you guys must go and groove guys it's so nice and groove <laughs> yeah and also guys um respect your lectures respect your securities respect your abu moms or those ladies who's, who built, like cleaning in their in your residence you know respect everybody and greet each and everyone you you meet guma corridors or gupi gupi just and ordinary hi like hi it won't eat you guys like just hi okay just like that you know it's okay guys like just greet people you know greet people you know yeah and also guys you know um choose friends wisely choose friends wisely and yeah i think i have covered everything you know yeah and last but not least guys uh have fun like have fun i wish you guys all the best uh with your university journey i hope you guys uh you know pass and yeah enjoy i'm so happy to each and every one of you for you know for passing and for being admitted in you know in university not everybody not everyone make it to to university you know it's so hard like it's so hard for people to make it to university you know some people are being rejected some are being on you know on the, the waiting list and it's, it's a lot guys like it's a lot and guys please when you feel like you the academic pressure is on another level please make sure to consult your mentors or you know go for counseling guys go for counseling call home and you know make sure guys would you get that support if you feel good you know the, the work overload it's, it's too much you know just go to school and you know go for counseling and just have somebody you're gonna talk to and be like no 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 ways i can't concentrate and saying yeah so i think i've covered everything and if there's any one of you who think i didn't cover everything that needs to be covered on this one you're more than welcome to just comment down below i would truly appreciate it and yeah guys i truly appreciate each and every one of i truly <laughs> i truly appreciate each and every, every every one of you and yeah Thank you guys for consuming my content till we meet again in my next video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye.